to clarity and closure of the viewers comments where I will take a selection of your comments and I will answer questions criticisms or just about you know anything that I might find interesting or think would be valuable in the overarching scenario of correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax frame because as you know or may or may not know this is a correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar oriented vessel the purpose and function of this channel is to teach correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar grammar mechanics as well as the psychological components therein so that's the reason why I do these and I hope you enjoy hello and welcome to a special focus edition of for the clarity and closure of the viewers comments in this special episode I'm going to be concentrating on one comment thread in particular because I feel it's a very useful educational and important uh, thread to look at for people to learn the basic psychology of correct sentence structure communication policy syntax grammar and the basic premise behind if you make a claim you better be able to prove it you better be able to back it up authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge to another contract party then it becomes certification and closure that's how we can all participate with the facts but if I make a claim and then you ask me to prove it and I refuse then that claim is not a fact it's just an opinion and I have no standing I have no position and I'm with the void performance so that's the premise behind this the psychology of it peace neutrality honor and grace rule one rule equal and so this comment thread began with a comment from an individual whose name is Leonardo Bastiano and the comment was on ironically enough uh, a podcast of mine for the quantum grammar shoot episode 104 yes there are 104 ep uh, episodes before the quantum grammar shoot podcast it's a very unique podcast the only one of its kind on the internet that I know of and the topic of that podcast was credentials and credentialing meaning how one credentials himself oneself transparency putting your face up there with your name putting the closure up there with your claims and the reason why I say it's ironic is well you'll see why so to begin with this individual says hi Jason your mentality is in an analogy with mine your mentality is in analogy with mine clearness openness and basic knowledge from the source and its principles within the Netherlands I we created our own sovereignty sovereignty I think that's a typo declaration and its additional style manual six pages regarding the apostrophe or the symbol it implies turning away it is the mistake RJG often made but perhaps not however I never got his styles manual so an apostrophe behind one's name or fact implies that its intention is the connection but the meaning of the apostrophe is to get away from it we define the apostrophe within our style manual did you do it too curious to know Best regards from Deleuze Landon. Underline is one term name. Good luck with the good work. Now, I have to that this is Leonardo's first video. Otherwise, he wouldn't be asking this question because, as I've said time and time again, and people are going to roll their eyes, I have over 400 videos on this YouTube channel. Any grammar question that someone has, can 9.9 .9 times out of 10 be answered just by searching through the videos and yes I have done videos where I give closure to the apostrophe and yes the apostrophe has been given closure to in my contract code dictionary now to give a little bit more closure on this 
as I'm fond of doing, when you parse the word apostrophe, you do uh, come to the conclusions that this individual shared, where the word apostrophe, when you parse it, does mean turning away. Okay, that's the word apostrophe. But when we write correct sentence structure, well, I don't mean we, when I write correct sentence structure, I don't use the word apostrophe. I use a symbol. Okay, and I give closure to that symbol. And that symbol simply denotes possession. So you can use it just like they use it in the fictions for easy communication in correct sentence structure. It's also used to be possessive. So claimant's knowledge, claimant apostrophe S hyphen knowledge for one claimant. Claimant's S apostrophe hyphen knowledge means more than one claimant's knowledge. Yes, the closure is given in the styles manual. And if Leonardo would have taken the time to study the videos, um, then he would have known that. But I don't think he did. And other than that, then, you know, this is a grammar channel. I teach correct sentence structure. I'm a grammar tutor. It's what I've been doing for five years now. This channel's been up for about five years now with the videos. Anyone who comes onto this channel, the purpose of the channel is for the knowledge cultivation of the viewer with regards to quantum grammar. If you're here for any other reason, you're in the wrong place. Okay? Because this is only about learning the grammar. I'm the teacher. I teach it. Of course, if you have something to add to that, if you think I've missed something, um, I'm open to suggestions. However, I do highly recommend you study the videos first and find out whether I've covered it, covered it or not, whether or not I've given closure to it or not. It's like walking in off the street to a mechanic, into a mechanic shop, and the mechanic's been working on cars, you know, for 20 years, and you walk in and you say, hey, do you know how to change a tire? You know, you walk in, and of course, you know, they've been doing it for years now. Of course you know how to change a tire. But you just walk in, you know, not knowing, because you didn't do your homework. So keep in mind, Leonardo came here. It was his choice. No one twisted his arm to come onto my vessel, to board my vessel. No one twisted his arm to be here. He's here of his own volition, his own choice. Keep that in mind. So my kuleana is, with correct sentence structure, one would give closure to every term and symbol, etc. I'm addressing the apostrophe thing. If you're interested in learning it, you may study the 400 plus videos, blah, 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 or you may contact me and apply for a workshop. Thank you. Then he writes back, hi, dear. I was studying, firstly, DWM material, end 2019. And at some point, I saw your educational videos with more nuances. So this issue that I am pointing out, the apostrophe, implies that I really do my homework. Well, we just saw in the last video that Leonardo did not do his homework. Otherwise, he would know that I've already covered the apostrophe. Imply, okay, being a multilinguist, thanks for your explanation so far. As it is, there is no good or wrong, even within PSG, whatever the hell that is, all's long as you respect the 5672 567 sequence. And that is incorrect because it's not a 5672 567 sequence, it's 567 567 2 567 567 at the very least. And as long as one takes jurisdiction, about one's own styles manual as the closure for one's PSG. Now, I don't know what he's talking, maybe he's talking about a different language, or I'm sorry, a different grammar. I'm talking about correct sentence structure, communication, parse syntax grammar. It looks like he's talking about something else called parse syntax grammar, leaving out the correct sentence structure communication, I guess. I can guarantee you that the Dutch language is completely different and more complex than the English version. Um, well, I don't know how this, how Leonardo can guarantee that as number one, he's shown no evidence that he knows anything about correct sentence structure. And, uh, number two, 
He hasn't demonstrated anything in Dutch. That requires more research than just the English perspectives. Well, keep this in mind, that when David Wynn Miller broke, broke the mathematical interface on grammar, he did it using English. So anyone who's going to use it in another language must first get closure on it through English and then transpose it to Dutch. So either Leonardo has to have closure on it in English first and then transpose it to Dutch, or he was taught by someone who already did that. And I highly doubt either one of those is true. So we'll see. And by the way, just on a, on a perception level, I feel like this individual is beginning to become just a little bit condescending, um, trying to show that he's a multilinguist and that Dutch is so much more complicated than English and so on and so forth. You get my drift? I could be wrong, but that's the sense I got. So, you know, as I just said, I said to maintain the basic mathematical interface, it must be at the very least, blah, 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 with only four positionals. Four is the cause of its concern with possessive and bias authority, regardless of the language one chooses to use as a trade medium. Again, if you'd like to learn it, and I also offer again, you know, the, uh, the venue of my email address to discuss it further or to apply for a workshop. He corresponds back, TNX for the offer. I am autodidactic and explored the PSG through the Dutch language, etymology, Latin and Greek, and diets, as well as to find out the right maths construction where this English language is often unapplicable to handle here in the De Laas Landen, Netherlands, whatever. So I adapted it respecting PSG. Again, this PSG. I'm beginning to think maybe he's talking about something completely different, but I have a feeling that it's not. It's, I think he means correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar, but he keeps making the same error with the name of it. That is what the true intelligence implies. The true intelligence. What does that mean? That respecting the principles, although adapting all thou, Adapting all thou, all thou, adapting its form, it is the form to adapt to. Respecting the principles, all thou, adapting its form. True intelligence. I don't think that that denotes true intelligence. I mean, if you're going to go get semantical about it, intelligence is no contract. It means a contract with not telling anything in true data versus false data it just depends upon if it's correct or not it doesn't matter all that stuff it's whether it's correct or it's not correct and so far this individual's grasp of the english language although it it's you know passable for communicating in comments fields like this you know through the word choice and everything i can tell it's not their first language so again to repeat if you're going to get closure on correct sentence structure, you must first get closure on it via English. So just throwing this out there for a hypothetical scenario. If this Leonardo thought they got closure on the grammar through English, but got incorrect closure, then that would be multiplied tenfold when he tried to transpose it to Dutch and it would be completely void of correctness. But let's see. Now I say, do you mind sharing a source and link so that I may certify what you are claiming? Thank you. Being that David broke the mathematical interface on grammar using English, logically one would first have to obtain closure on correct sentence structure via English and then transpose it to another language. That's logic, okay? Or as this individual may call it, true intelligence. So as you see here, I am very politely, very calmly, um, with kindness, honor and grace, asking them to prove their claim. 
That's all I'm doing. Keep in mind what they claimed in the first comment. That they created their own styles manual and so on and so forth. I'm asking them to prove that. Then Leonardo responds, Hi, Jason Matthew, do you comprehend the Dutch language to verify my claims? Our six pages style manual plus six pages words list is Dutch language related totally. The English technical language fails and is therefore useless for any comparison. Have faith in us. We comprehend our language pretty well. Best regards. Now the, it's pretty, pretty clear that they're being condescending now. Keep in mind, though, um, that's all they're saying. They're just basically saying that, implying that I don't understand Dutch. It's infinitely more complex than English. How could... How could someone as stupid as me understand all that? Because I'm English speaking. So let's see what happens next. So I respond, my closure on correct sentence structure is such that I will be quite capable of verifying the validity of your grammar, regardless of the language it is written in. And I stand behind that. Um, I, can pretty much, I can pretty much syntax any Latin-based language and some other languages as well that are not Latin-based. Uh, pretty easily because of my closure on correct sentence structure. I've done such things with other languages and I'm conversant in syntaxing any language. I also have access to translators within my confidential circle who speak Dutch, so no worries. This is true. A claim requires proof and I'm asking for yours. Please email it to my email address if you wish to certify your claims. If not, then thank you for your interesting opinions and kind words. Best wishes to you and yours. So I'm keeping it I'm keeping it on the level, honor and grace. I'm not even giving back the energy that he's giving. I'm still giving back a very neutral type of energy, just simply asking to prove a claim. But as you saw from the last comment, this individual is beginning to feel like perhaps they're being pressed, that there's some kind of pressure being put on them because they're being asked to perform. And when one makes a claim, and feels reluctant to perform on it, according to flag, flag protocol, that is a red flag. So now he says, if you don't mind, I know nobody with our level in Holland, only one I work with. So because Leonardo doesn't know anyone in Holland who has knowledge, then I obviously must not know anybody in Holland because he obviously knows everybody, right? I searched two years. We have been active for 2.5 years or two comma years, two comma five years. These documents you mean are confidential for our business. Ah, see, here we go. The whole time he's been talking to me, he never mentioned that. Not in the first comment, not in the second, not in the third, not in the fourth. Now, suddenly, when he's being pressed, when he's being invited up to the geometric level playing field of communication, no thank you. And now he begins making excuses. More than 200 hours unpaid work to develop. So Leonardo, I guess, expects to be paid to create his own documents. That's interesting. So sorry, no free admittance. I experienced a little Russell J. Gould claim he only may authorize us teaching and educating Dutch syntax grammar. This idiot. Well, that's nice. That's also another red flag. The ad hominem attack. Based on some silly copyright of his during 300 years, David released it. I picked it up. Thank you for your part in it again. Since Russell got it without D's free and full consent. Ah, I wonder where Leonardo learned about that. Hmm. Maybe you can find a link to that up there somewhere. I wrote more than 40 books about intelligence, language, psychology, philosophies, maths, quantum physics. How hard is it for me to learn the English PSG interacting with the Dutch? So respect, but no thank you. Again, you know, condescension. Um, I guess Leonardo holds himself in very high esteem, perhaps a legend in his own mind, perhaps. 
So then, you know, I take, take the gloves off. I return the energy that was given to me, just as I guessed, when called upon to perform with transparency, honor, grace, rule, one rule, equal, peace, neutrality, core elements of psychology, you decline. I saw it coming a mile away. If what you say were true, you would have stated it in your first comment rather than continue to make those uncertifiable claims. Then, as with most people who make such claims, when you are called upon to simply perform and certify said claims, you conveniently say it's confidential and refuse. Thank you for the great stories, though. Hope it all works out for you. Whatever it is that you are actually doing in the confidential, one thing I can be very sure of is that whatever you're doing, correct quantum grammar is probably not a part of it, but I'll never know, will I? L-O-L. Then he says, this is not a rat race. This language is not a rat race. And that's what also we would call in logic, logical fallacy land is a red herring trying to throw different things into the mix to keep from staying on track of proving his claims. He's trying to divert my attention to this or that so that I don't pay attention to what's going on. But I mean, come on, who does he think he's talking to here? He really hasn't watched any of my videos. So I said, I agree. I simply asked you to prove a claim that you made. And so far you have not open and shut case. So then he responds, I regret your mentality. Do you remember in the first uh, comment, he said that something about, he thinks that his mentality is analogous to mine, but now he says he regrets it. Some people mean they have these truths about some topic and others have to subject to it for authorization or respect. I don't know what the hell he's talking about there. The dislike that some person can learn autodidactically, even without speaking, a master himself. I don't know what that means. I learned lots from you and trust your experience. I don't know if that's true. Last year, this silly wrestle with his crazy Rachel meant to have the authority to claim that I firstly admitted his authority, asking permission for educating in Holland. Again, I experienced the same way. Same way what, Leonardo? What did you experience the same way? I highly doubt Russell asked you to prove any claim. What probably happened there was he just wanted you to submit to him. I'm not asking you to submit to me at all. I'm just asking you to prove your claim. Put your money where your mouth is. You say you did this. Let's see the proof. That's it. I'm not asking you to submit to me or bow down to me or anything like that. No, no. It's all a geometric level playing field. I'm asking you to come up here with me because you made a claim. I want you to come up here with me and prove it. That's it. Simple. Uh, I was the first in Holland. If you mean I can't be trusted, find out. I never said that either. I just want you to prove a claim, dude. I am easy to find, nothing to hide. A great pity you refuse our privacy. I'm not refusing your privacy. You can be as private as you want. A great, uh, our efforts and great in promoting here in Holland do dare the challenge and revise, remove this respectless judgment. That would suit you. Oh, now he's telling me what would suit me or not. That is very interesting. Oh, and now... He puts his name different. Now, instead of Leonardo Bastiano, it's Wilfred Leonardo. Hmm. And I've been calling him Leonardo all this time. So there's a few red flags going on with this guy. No doubt about it. Some kind of shady undertones with my perception. So then I respond, you regret my mentality. But in your initial comment, you stated your mentality is in analogy with mine. Therefore, you are also regretting your own mentality. I do not participate with such concepts. You appear to be assuming that I dislike you. I never said anything like that. I simply asked for proof of your claims. <laughs> and now I witness you performing all of these feats of mental gymnastics, doing everything but proving your claims. For example, you could have sent a document to me in the confidential and I would have kept it confidential, but you didn't. You sent a photo of blurry documents that I cannot read. I also never refused your privacy. This is a great hurdle for some. When I ask them to prove their knowledge, they make all sorts of excuses as to why they cannot do it. 
Oh, I need my syntax key. Oh, I need my notebook. Oh, those things are classified in private. I can't share them. Also, you could have just written a sentence in correct sentence structure here in the comments, but you didn't do that. Instead, you went on and on lamenting my mentality. I simply asked you to prove a claim. Easy for someone who has closure, difficult for someone who does not. And making excuses for not proving your claims is pretty cut and dry to me as someone who has taught this grammar to literally hundreds of people all over Earth for the past five years. Bottom line, if you were confident with your knowledge level, you would have no problem demonstrating it, either in the public or private. Pretty cut and dried. Then Leonardo says, you refused doing research about me. Here's the thing, Leonardo. I didn't come to you. I'm not looking to know who or what you are. You are the one that boarded my vessel, making claims. You're my guest. I didn't come to you. So that doesn't apply what you're saying. You're trying to flip it. But that's not going to work here. Dude. So. That's a non. That's a moot point what you just said. Why would I do research about you? I didn't come to you. You came to me. It was your choice. I didn't twist your arm to be here. The biggest lack of one's respect while prejudging. That's the pot calling the kettle black if I ever saw that. Refusing to accept private rights by protecting my high standard knowledge written with... Oh, it's high standard knowledge. There he is again. Um, patting himself on the back. I take full closure, including the style manual, six pages. That's just lip service at this point. While you seem to feel the urge of this useless correction, as if I didn't comprehend the whole sentence structure... What useless correction? There is no correction that's useless unless one is ego-driven with lack of humility, which I'm beginning to see is going on here. Within the multiplicity of this 5, 6, 7 combination. Yeah, he's still going on with that, which is incorrect uh, number sequence. I sent you a picture of these documents, of course, unreadable. Yeah, so what's the use of it? There's no proof there. I told you about the contradiction of the apostrophe. No implicate reply of yours. Just being vague. No, not vague. Again, you came aboard this vessel as a guest. So it's contingent upon you to do your homework. And if you don't do it, that's just laziness. And you're just relying on assumption presumption. And yes, I am telling you that that's what you're doing. Because that is what you're doing. Because you came to me. You're in my court. On my vessel. You don't come here and make terms and conditions. You either agree with and comply with these terms and conditions or you get the hell out. Please stop this jealousy against others. <laughs> That's a good joke. Thank you. Who can comprehend more easily, quicklier? Quicklier, more nuanced and more sophisticated. Wow. This guy, this guy, I wonder how many hands he has because he is continuously patting himself on the back. I've never seen someone who has so, who thinks so much of themselves. That's crazy. It reminds me of a character from the uh, Douglas Adams novels, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It reminds me of, a, of the guy Zaphod Beeblebrox who said that if there's anything more important than his ego around, he wants it found and shot. <laughs> you abused the term monopoly. monopoly. I, don't, I never used the term monopoly. So I don't, how can I abuse something I don't use? Being an expert, too bad. I never claimed to be an expert. David wouldn't. How would this guy know what David would do or wouldn't do? He would adore me being non-native dealing with Oh, that's really fun. That's hilarious. Wow. You came onto my vessel making claims. This is my response. And now you chastise me for not doing research on you. That's funny. I simply asked you to prove a claim, prove your knowledge. You did everything but prove any level of knowledge. I have over 400 videos, some of which contain closure on the use of apostrophe. My closure is in the public, free to any who wish to study. Yours is not. Yours is hidden, away from view, not available. Why? 
My guess is because you don't have closure and you know it. When called to the carpet, you cannot maintain any position on the geometric level playing field of correct sentence structure because you do not possess the knowledge. You say you take full closure and at the same time refuse to prove it. Correct sentence structure is about proving your claims. Authority comes from knowledge and you have demonstrated zero. There is no jealousy on my part. You appear to continually make assumptions about me. Again, if you make a claim, be prepared to prove it, especially here on my vessel. You chose to be here. No one forced you to say the things you said, make the claims you made, and behave the way you behave. I do label you a troll and will make a video sharing this public conversation as a cautionary tale to those who would make claims of knowledge and fail at backing those claims up with performance. You have employed at least three different logical fallacies in your attempt to excuse your lack of performance, the last of which was your assumptive comment about colon David. You have no way of knowing what he would think or feel about your non-performance. I was blessed to have had the honor of being in communication with David the final year of his life. One of the many things he taught me was that if one makes a claim, one better be able to prove it. Otherwise, it turns into a mess, and your response proves his words true. Thank you for this great example of an extreme lack of correct sentence structure, psychological knowledge, as well as an extreme voidance of correct sentence structure knowledge. It will be an awesome learning tool for the series students here. So, in closing, ladies and gentlemen, after reading through these comments again fully, I would also say that it's a lesson in humility. Now, I've had some, some fun with it, took some, you know, made some jabs and things like that, returned the energy that was given to me. However, I do want to caution the viewer that humility is a critical tool when using this grammar. This individual, by my perception, lacks that. And you could see that in the way that he continuously spoke very highly of himself and at the same time spoke derisively of me. Say, you know, when he said that Dutch was a much, you know, more intelligent language than English and basically that, uh, I don't know, I'm a peasant and um, he's, he's up there, I'm down here, you know, that type of thing, which is goofy. Because number one, it violates the rule one rule equal geometric level playing field of contract. And number two, it betrays a severe lack of knowledge of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Because that's not the way it works. The way it works for me is if I see that there's a lack of knowledge, I offer to help the individual fill that hole. Which is what I did in the beginning when I offered him twice to contact me to teach him the grammar. I want to help but after you know going on and on with the way he was speaking and behaving i have no you know desire to do that at all now just because i can see that uh, at least this point in time this individual my guess is probably does not possess the humility and the neurological pathways necessary to get closure and be successful in using this grammar because i can bet you dollars to donuts that whatever those 29 pages is, uh, I'm sorry, those 29 pages are in Dutch, they're definitely not correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. And anyone who's contracting with that dude, I would uh, definitely be very cautious about it. And if anybody who has contracted with him would like to learn the grammar, Again, contact me at the email address below, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation and we can have a conversation about it. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Salute.